Hello and welcome to HP Calx. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how to find statistics on the Sharp EL531 XT calculator. To do this we'll be using the mode key located here, the second function key located here, the M plus and STO keys located here, as well as the alpha key located here, and the four, five, six, zero, decimal and plus minus key located here, four, five, six, zero, decimal, positive, negative. All right, to get started, we need to turn our calculator into stats mode. So to do this, we press the mode button, which brings up this menu. We want to go to stats mode, so we can press one, which brings up this menu. For this example, we'll be using the SD option, so zero. And it brings us to this menu asking us what our statistic variables are or data is. In this example, we use this data set here. This can be a measurement, a weight, or whatever it is we're finding the statistics for. So to get started, our first measurement is 10. So we can press 10, but since we have two of them, what we can do is press the STO key then, which brings it up to this. See, we have 10 comma. This is asking our frequency. We can now press two since it occurs twice. And then the M plus key to enter our data into the data set. There we go. Now this says one, which means we have one variable in the data set. But don't let that trick you. Since we entered it as a frequency of two, there will be two digits in there. Our next value is 20, so we press 20. And then again, the M plus to enter it into our data set. We have a data set of two now. And then 60, which is our final piece of data, M plus. All right, there we go. We have a data set of equals three. But what we can do to confirm we actually have four pieces of data is press the alpha key and then come down to the zero with the N above it. What this does is tell us how many pieces of data we have in our data set. N equals, N equals four. So we can confirm that, you know, since we have the frequency of two for this 10, and then one of the, the 20 and one of the 60, we have four pieces of data. All right, the other statistics we can get are the mean under four. So again, we press alpha, four equals, that's the X bar, gives us a mean of 25. All right, next we can find the sample standard deviation by pressing alpha five, which gives us this SX symbol, and then we press enter, and there we go, our sample standard deviation of 23.80476, etc. We can then get our population standard deviation by using alpha, this sigma x. There we go, press enter, and we get 20.615528, etc. for our population standard deviation. Also, if we wanted to get the variance for this, we would just have to use square root this standard deviation. So using the x squared key equals gives us a variance of that statistic. It's a useful trick to have. All right. And then again, zero n gives us the number of pieces of data we have. Alpha decimal is the sum of the data. 100, there we go. 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 60 equals 100. And finally, if we use the positive negative key, this gives us the sum of squares of the data. All right, if we're done with our statistics mode, see this word stat at the top of the screen? We wanna go back to our regular mode. So we go to mode and change it from stat to normal. So we can press zero. 
And we're back into our default mode. The word stat has disappeared. And we're good to go back to our regular calculations. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests.